Impact Wrestling presents Emergence. Streaming live Sunday, August 27th. Singer, I'm going to honor your contract, brother. I was just coming to find you. The laws, everything in your contract, I'm going to take it by the book, by the letter. And on the 14th, on Spike, you're going to get your rematch, brother, against Mr. Anderson. It's totally done. You and Anderson. Wow. <laughs> I'm a man of my word, brother. This is one time when I can tell by looking in your eyes you actually mean what you say. You know, Sting, we have a history that nobody around here knows about. Yeah, that's right. And I owe that much to you. Wow. Okay. Does this mean that the real Hulk Hogan is back? Answer my question. This is the real Hulk Hogan, brother. I mean, come on. A, a little shred of honor and, and, and dignity? Is it still there? Come on, Hulk. Knock it off. No, Man, answer my on. question. You just don't get it, do you? I'm trying to make this work my way. The fans will always be there, Sting. You yeah. know that. Yeah, you know what? You're, you're forgetting. You're forgetting that I have a history with you. You're forgetting, I remember what it was like the day you came in, what your mindset was like when you came to WCW. You came in with a positive attitude. You wanted to be a positive influence to WCW, to all the wrestlers there. I remember that. You had respect for me, you had respect for the groundwork that I had already laid. I respected you, I wanted to follow in your footsteps. Remember what I was talking about a few weeks ago when I was talking about all the fans buying all your stuff? All the wrestlers that worship the ground that you walk on? Did that matter to you at all? <sighs> say your prayers, take your vitamins. Did you say that just for the money? Is this a legacy that you want to leave behind? This is it right here? Is this a legacy you want to leave for all the wrestling fans, all the wrestlers? Let me ask you a question. Is this the legacy that you want to leave behind for Brooke and Nick? Stop it! That's enough! That's enough! I struck a nerve, didn't I? Who the hell do you think you are? I'm the stinger! That's who I am! I'm the stinger, and I'm not done yet! Well, get the hell out of my no, house! No, 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 no! I'm get not... Yes. I'm not done! <laughs> oh, I'm excited! This is good! Man, Terry, I am not done! No! I am not finished! I'll leave when I want to leave, Terry! Sit down, Terry! Sit down! You want to wear a mask? Don't do this. You want to be a masquerade around here and put on a, a facade for everybody? <laughs> Let me help you out, Terry. Let me just put the facade on uh, for you, buddy. Uh, Come on, Terry. It's just uh, you and me. Uh, uh, yes, I'll help you out wearing your mask. Is this what you want? What a legacy. Uh, 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 what a legacy! You know what? You have only yourself to blame this time. You got a choice, Terry! You can change things. You got the power to do it. But first, you gotta make the choice! <laughs> make the choice! Boo! <laughs> Woo! Sting, you ungrateful son of a bitch. Get down here and get down here now. Well, I guess he's gonna address it. That answers our question. Mr. Anderson, it's on Impact Wrestling. It's on July the 14th. But Taz, how about Sting 
Hulk Hogan. I think Sting definitely lost it last week, and just by the way he walked out here, I don't think he's found it yet. He still might have lost it. He just, I, I saw Sting earlier today backstage, and it's, I didn't get a chance to talk to him because he kind of was, frankly, talking to himself. But um, I don't know what the heck is going on with Sting. You're right, look at his face. The face paint looks kind of odd. Different, I should say. You see, Sting, I've got something I want to say to you, but unlike you, I'm not a coward. So I'm going to say it right to your face. You see, what did you think last week while I was out taking a leak and you decided to sneak into my office and have a little one-on-one -on -one with Hulk Hogan? Did you think for a second that I wouldn't find out about that? Did you think for a second that I don't watch my own show? The show that I produce in, that I star in? Do you think for a second that I don't know what's going on around here? Do you think for a second that I don't know that you're an ungrateful son of a bitch? I've done nothing but treat you with respect. From day one, from day one, how much more slack do I have to cut you? What do you want? What hurts most are my feelings. Eric, you, you cussed at me. You, you verbally abused me, Eric. Whatever shall I do? Well, before I snap your scrawny little neck, <laughs> and that's exactly what I plan on doing. He's lost his mind, man. I'm gonna tell you why you and I never got along. It's because you're a con artist. You're a thief. You're a liar. You're a low life. You're a loser. You're the scum of the earth. You're a dirtbag. <laughs> He's nuts. Wow. You're a really bad virus, Eric. You're a cancer. And like the cockroach that crawled in between the bottom of the door and the floor, you ended up here at Impact Wrestling. You know what cockroaches do? They spread disease. You're a disease, Eric. <laughs> And that disease has spread to Hulk. But it's only a matter of time before Hulk's eyes are open and the real Hulk Hogan stands up again. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, Sting. No matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you try, it is always gonna be Hogan and Bischoff. We're a team that is never gonna change. There's nothing you're gonna do there's nothing you're gonna say that's gonna change any of that. So you can give that up right now. The only thing that's going to change, however, is you. And you're gonna change because of me and what I'm about to do. See, you may have a contract and a rematch for the world title on July 14th with Mr. Anderson right here on Spike TV, but you know what? I have the ability to change that. I have the ability to put you in a match tonight with Abyss to make sure that even if you get to July 14th, you won't be any shape to win any belt from anybody. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen here tonight. And there's not a damn thing you're going to be able to do about that. You said that with such conviction, Eric. You said that like, I got a price to pay. 
you're wrong, Eric, because you're the one who's got the price to pay. Eric better get out of there. He better get out of there quick. This guy's unstable. Totally different side of Sting. sleeping in your bed and you thought there was a monster underneath your bed and then you come to find out he was never there why because he was right here all along terry <laughs> it's me the stinger Woo! <laughs> the show's getting ready to start any minute now terry yeah it's gonna start you nervous Because you should be. of Sting, to me, it's inevitable that there would be major concern on the part of this man, Paul Hogan. It's Mike Tanay, it's Taz. We welcome you to Impact Wrestling. And with each passing week, Sting's behavior enhanced in a more unpredictable and dark direction, Taz. Oh, I completely agree with you, Mike. And I, I gotta say, I mean, I'm really starting to rapidly. I mean, I feel like the stinger, that sting is renting a ton of real estate in Hulk Hogan's head. I just don't get how someone that used to be so great could be such a coward. Hide the ball, peekaboo, here today, gone tomorrow, Marco Polo. Let me tell you something, Sting. You got a date with me, brother, and I'm gonna take care of you on my own time, in my own way. Your day's coming. But someone who's got a day in about two weeks that I need to have a little chat with better get his butt out here right now. Mr. Anderson, if you don't come out here, I'll come back there and get you, brother. Oh, 
Oh, no hesitation by Anderson, huh? <laughs> you have to say his name twice. And there he is, the man who for months has been the center of the immortal score. The world heavyweight champion, Mr. Anderson. Think about it. Repeated efforts to recruit Anderson to align with Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff. They have been rebuffed. They have been rejected by Anderson. He doesn't respect anybody but himself. Oh, and there's no doubt. I mean, the world heavyweight champion, Anderson, is definitely all about Anderson. Now, I personally, I, I don't disagree with that. I think that's the way you should conduct yourself. And that's kind of, to your point, the M.O. of Anderson. The host of Fallen, the world champ to the principal's office, and it's right in the middle of that ring. Well, 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 champ. I'm glad you could take time out of your busy schedule to grace us with your presence, but this is gonna be real short-winded, Kenny boy. The way I see it, you need me just as bad as I need you. And that means you got two choices. In a couple weeks, when Sting gets in your face, you can either do something really, really, really smart and join a mortal and have an army of monsters watching your back with the world title in place. Or you can do what you normally do, walk out there by yourself and face this certified lunatic one-on-one. -on -one. But I guarantee you one thing, Kenny boy, if you choose door number two, not only will you not beat Sting and lose the world heavyweight title, you'll leave without one single shred of cockiness or confidence that you may have had before the match. Really? Really, that's what's gonna happen to uh, you? Gonna, what are you gonna do? You're gonna, you gonna slap the cockiness out of me? Go ahead. I got plenty of cockiness to spare. You I'm know, cocky from head to toe. I'm the freaking cock of this walk. Oh, but, but I see you guys think that I need to get into business with you fellers in order to be successful, right? Right? You see this? Do you remember Slammiversary? I'm going to take you back. Slammiversary, oh, oh. I freaking dominated Sting by myself, won this championship by myself, and I did it, I did it while barely breaking a freaking sweat, so I don't know what makes you think that two weeks from now is going to be any different. Well, you know, I didn't forget Slammiversary, and I don't think anybody else could. And if it wasn't for the sheer genius and instinct of Eric Bischoff, who handed you that title on a silver platter, brother, things would be a lot different. Because the way Eric saw it, as everybody else saw it, the referee was getting ready to count one, two, Frenoli, when Eric decided to get in and do something about it. Simply because we cannot have this lunatic nut job, Stinger, running around as the hood ornament of this company. So the way I see it, Anderson, and the way it really is, yes, you should be in business with us. Yes, it's a good move. Yes, I see a big dollar sign there, brother. And by the way, you owe us one. I don't owe you a damn thing. And I don't give a damn what Eric Bischoff did, what Eric Bischoff does. An asshole takes a victory any way he can, and then he takes all the credit for it. That's what I'm doing. I take all the credit for my victory at Slammiversary, and I'm going to take all the credit for what's going to happen two weeks from now. I promise you. No! No! Yes! <laughs> All right! You're not gonna stop me! I wanna talk to the holster! Tonight! Yeah! We're gonna have a little chat! Remember, the only thing that's for sure about Sting! Ah, oh, never mind.
Now do you get it? Now do you... How about Sting laying out the members of Immortal in the back and then black out in the impact zone? Well, we know the target that Sting has got his focus on. It's Hogan. Where, 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 the, where the hell is Sting? Put the lights on already. No part of stay. Wait here for a second. Kenny, you look a little nervous. Hey, I appreciate you leaving right now. Thank you because, well, I need this bonding time with Hulk. But I'm not gonna forget about you, Kenny. I'm not gonna forget about two weeks from now. July 14th, it's gonna be a very special night. So special, I think we're gonna to have to name that night. Hold on one second. We're gonna name that night, Midsummer Nightmare. Nightmare. Hulk. Man, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Man, I'm trying to get through to you, Hulk. Listen, I, I'm gonna be the first to admit it, okay? I was a Hulk Hogan mark. I was. Yeah, I, you know what? I was at the sports arena way back when, when I started my career. And man, I'm telling you, they had those red and yellow bandanas and t-shirts flying like crazy. Red and yellow kill a fellow, right, Hulk? <laughs> Come on, you and I go way back. I'm just trying to get the real Hulk Hogan to stand up again. Come on, not the Hollywood one. The real Hulk Hogan. Now, I've tried every approach I know how to do, Terry. But I'm thinking maybe we should go with maybe something a little more visual, okay? You said, train hard, say your prayers, and take your vitamins. That's what you said, okay? It wasn't just a tagline, I know that. Come on. It's obvious you've been trained because when you used to talk about going down PCH in California with those 21 inch pythons hanging off those ape hangers, man, I'm telling you what, you're obviously working out. There's still 21 inch pythons right there. You're out of your damn mind. You crossed the line. Okay. You said something about taking your vitamins. Let's go with the more visual approach. Here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I can't breathe. Man. Uh, Woo! Bonding uh, time with the Hulkster. Uh, hey, let's do some vitamins now, okay? Uh, come here. No, no come on. Breathe. You can My do it. Are broken. Here you go. Uh, here, one for me. Uh, uh, yeah, one for you. Uh, one for you. Uh, uh, Swallow it. Uh, Does anybody have a water here? I need a bottle of water, somebody. Uh, hey. Uh, nah, right. uh, uh, Oh. Come on, here, take, I'll take some more. Oh. Couple of me, couple of me. Oh. Come on, Gary. Oh. Come on, oh. am I getting through to you or what? Oh. Am I getting through to you or what? Uh, oh my, no, not the scorpion. Gonna hook on the scorpion and... God. Gonna turn God. Hogan over. Can't do this. How many back operations Hogan's had? Can't do this. 
Hulkamania. All I got to do at this point is just simply sit down. <laughs> but if I sit down right now, we're never going to see the real Hulk Hogan. So please stand up. Enough. 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 Billy Ray leads the members of a board. Enough, Sting. Get away from him. Step away from him. Stay right where you are. Abyss, make sure he's okay. Sick and tired of you making a mockery of Hulk Hogan. You're nothing but a wannabe. A wannabe, a nobody, a zilch, a zero. You're not that funny. You're not that funny, and you know something? Our paths have never crossed, okay? Things are gonna come to a head tonight. You know, if there's one thing that I can't stand, it's a bully. Somebody who goes running their mouth. Hey, I'm talking to you. You're a bully. You run your mouth. You impose your will on people. What you did to Bischoff last week was deplorable. That's a four-syllable word, just psycho. So tonight, it's going to be you and Scott Steiner. Now hit our music. How about Bully Ray switching gears at the last minute? Cut that damn music. Let me tell you something, Sting. That's the last time you're ever going to embarrass me. Before tonight's over, I'm going to wipe that stupid smile off your stinking face. Rising up to the challenge of our rivals. No. Rising up to the challenge of immortal in the eye of the stinger. <laughs> Survivor? Right? Yeah. Hold on a minute now. That was Survivor, early 80s. Do you remember that? Stinger, you all right, bro? <laughs> so glad you asked. I'm so glad you asked. I'm doing great. Remember what's going on next week, Kurt? Next week, Midsummer Nightmare. Nightmare. That was for Kenny. I'm gonna get that world title back. And when I get that world title back, the power's back in my court. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Dinger. Yeah. Before you can make that happen, you and I have to survive tonight. We're up against the mortal and possibly Mr. Anderson. Well, you know what they say, Kurt? The more the merrier, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're out of your mind. I don't even think I could trust you out there tonight. <sighs> Kurt, look at it. I promise you, you can trust me. I know exactly what I'm doing. Come on, Kurt. Rising up to the challenge of our rivals. I mean, immortal in the eye of the stinger. Kurt, come on, back here. Man, woo! I don't know. Feels like showtime every minute to me. I can't help it. I know, I know. Sting, you've stepped over the line now. You've taken it too far. Everybody thinks you're snapped. I'm not snapped. I just feel good. Because I'm getting to Hogan. What the hell? Sting, Sting just popped up here. Gamble? Did I hear somebody say, Gamble? Yeah. 
See, I don't know what the hell you're up to, okay? Forget about our history over the last 20 years. All right, regardless of how I may have felt about you, I've always respected you as a straight up, stand up guy. But this, this is it. This is nuts, all right? You accuse me of being cancer? I don't think so, brother. I think you become the cancer, and tonight, tonight, Mr. Anderson is going to be the man that is going to take the cancer out once and for all, you freak. Would you like to bet me on that one, Eric? Are you a betting man? I got a poker table here for crying out loud. You see, because I see things coming out a whole lot different than you do tonight, Eric. I see me becoming the heavyweight champion once again. kicking off my crusade to bring the company back to its rightful owner, Dixie Carter. Let me tell you something, Sting. Don't push it any farther, or I'll strip this tux off and teach you a lesson that you've never been taught before. But the one thing I can guarantee you, Sting, is not only are you going all the way down this time? You're going out of this building on a stretcher tonight, brother. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Wow. Even I'm starting to worry about me. No, 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 see. Hulkamania, you're wrong about that. You're so wrong because, you see, I got all kinds of aces in the hole, you see. I've got the, the network ace, look. Ace, ace. Network ace. See, I recall that the network told you and Bischoff that you're on a very short leash, very thin ice. Not a whole lot of room for error anymore. <sighs> Let's just say that the slightest little bit of shenanigans from any of you at all, and well, let's just say that there's someone with a lot bigger bite than my little bark around here. Woof, woof. But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> now, yeah. You see, I am going to leave here tonight the new World Heavyweight Champion. And contrary to what you're saying, Hulk, I'm not going to leave here in a body bag. I'm not going to leave here in a stretcher. No way, because I got all these aces. Look, there's more. There's one. Look, there's another. Look, another and another. Those are called my magic bullet aces. Do you know why they're called magic Hulkamania? Because they're going to appear right before your very own eyes tonight. Don't blink. Look. 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 Thank you. That's the nicest thing you ever said to me, Eric. These are my friends, and tonight, they're gonna watch my back. And tonight, I'm gonna leave, again, I'll say, the new world heavyweight champion. Let's just say, I'm all in. Whoa! Evil clowns up in the rafters. Sting turning the impact zone into a fun house before he turns over the yeah, not too much fun, though, for a mortal. Sting gets an opportunity at the World Heavyweight Champion, Anderson, later tonight. Where'd he go? Now you see Sting, now you don't. Sting says he's going to leave Impact Wrestling with the World Heavyweight title, and he's got backup. Sting versus Anderson tonight. Sting not able to fight back, and here comes Bully Ray with that 
steel chain wrapped around his hand. Good. What the hell? Now what? What the? What the hell is this? Wait a minute. Oh! We already saw the four clowns from the rafters. We already saw them revealed. Who the hell is this? And another black out of the impact zone. And, and when the lights come back on, Anderson alone in the ring, the clown all the way up on the ramp. Ooh. Sting from behind. Scorpion death drop. Where's the referee? Sting's on top. Henry slides in. Here's one. Here's two. New World Heavyweight Champion. was made tonight, right here, man. We crown a new world champ. Snake promised it, he did it. Shocking moment. A little help from another clown. Sting promised us earlier. He said, I've got, I've got backup, and look who it was. My God, the backup was Kurt Angle, the number one contender. Control, it shifted dramatically. When Sting defeated Mr. Anderson, the insane icon, he not only captured the world heavyweight title, but in the process, he severely weakened Immortal by taking away the most important championship. I gotta tell you, Mike, Sting, he promised that he won't let's guarantee it last week, early on in the show last week, and then by the end of the night, the main event, Sting did what he said he was gonna do. He was crowned New World Heavyweight Champion and the state of mind Sting is in, he's deranged, he's nuts, he's whack. Who knows what's gonna happen? Look at me, Bob, I'm on top of the world! Heavyweight Champion! <laughs> Hogan and Bischoff looks like the Stinger's back on track again. I got something you want here, don't I? Ooh, yeah, that feels good. <laughs> of course, then, you got something I want, too. I guess that puts us on an even playing field. Makes us even Steven, tit for tat, doesn't it? <laughs> well, you know something? Let's just say, game on. Now. This is the part of the promo where I'm supposed to talk about how we can do things the easy way or we can do it the hard way, but no sense in going into all that because we all know we're gonna do it my way. One way or another, I'm gonna get you Eric and I'm gonna get you Hogan. You'll be kicking and screaming the whole way probably, but <laughs> eventually, you're gonna come to your senses. Oh, I'll tell you what, it feels good tonight. I'm in a good mood. I'm insane. <sighs> I gotta tell you, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Well, I gotta tell you, there's something that's exhilarating about being insane. So I guess, the insane asylum business is officially open, and I'd like to start today's business by conducting an interview with Hogan and Bischoff. Please come forward, ladies and gentlemen. Please come forward. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute now. Hold on. Just like last week, Kurt Angle under the mask of the evil clown. And you kind of have to give an assist, in my opinion, to Kurt Angle. It kind of helped uh, 
Sting defeat Mr. Anderson last week and, and, and gained the title. No question, and Angle, the number one contender for Sting's world heavyweight title and Sting's opponent upcoming in Hardcore Justice. No disrespect to you because you are the world champion. But I heard a lot of eyes in that speech you just gave. I did this, I did that. When it was I, Kurt Angle, that came to your aid last week when Anderson and Bully Ray were beating you down. Now I did it because it was the right thing to do. And I'm all about doing the right thing. And I know you are too. But what we have here is a dilemma. Because while you're trying to save this company for Dixie Carter, you've run into a minor speed bump. And that speed bump happens to be me. I'm the number one contender. And at Hardcore Justice, our paths are about to cross once again. I respect you too, Kurt. I'm just doing what I gotta do, man. All right, Sting, you wanna play those games? I can respect that. See, I, I take pride in being the best. Second best is not an option. Not in the Olympics, and not in this wrestling ring. What we are, are legends in this business, in this sport. And only one of us can walk out the better man. And it's not just gonna be me, it has to be me. Because I've given myself no other choice. That's a fact. We got ourselves a dilemma here, Kurt. All week long, you've been blowing up my phone. And after three days of me not answering, I figured you'd get the hint, but you just kept calling and calling. You kept offering me the same offer over and over again. Let's get one thing straight. There's nothing appealing to me about a mortal. When I see a mortal, what I see are a bunch of ass kissers led by two of the biggest scumbags in the world, Eric Bischoff and you. Now, I am gonna beat Sting in Hardcore Justice, but it's gonna be for the right reasons. For one, for the World Heavyweight title. Because that's exactly why I'm in this business. And two, I never really beat Sting before. Not without outside interference. But I'll tell you this, I will beat Sting at Hardcore Justice. And when I beat him, I am gonna prove that I am the best in the world. Do you know how it feels to be the best in the world? Uh -huh. So Kurt Angle, that's what this is all about. That's why you call me out here to ask Hulk Hogan if he knows what it's like to be the best Yeah, Kurt Angle, I know what it's like to be the best, okay? When there was no Stinger, when there was no Matt Morgan, when there was no RVD, when there was no Kurt Angle, when there was no beer money, even when there was Andre the Giant, I still carried this business on my back, Jack. And I took every small little territory and I put it on my back and I carried those territories around until I turned this business into a damn international phenomenon, brother. Now, if you want to talk about knowing what it's like to have a bunch of 16-year-old punks buy tickets simply because they aspire to be me. Yes, I know what it's like to be the best. And in 1984, brother, when you were still pooping in your diapers, dude, I was selling out arenas. I was packing in young punks like you who bought a ticket to see me. So yes, Mr. Angle, I know what it's like to be the damn best.
Now that I can see we've got that cleared up, the damn reason I was calling you, brother, was because I thought that when I watched you out here in the ring, you had a vision of a higher level, one that maybe you could function on all the time, one that means a lot more money in this business. I don't care what you're making now. I don't care what you were making back then, and you damn sure can't eat the gold medals. At least your kids can't anyway. But I made you an offer to go on to greatness and to make a lot more money. And this is what you do. You call me out here and you disrespect me. Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. You got it all wrong. I'm not disrespecting you. The fact that I do respect you is the reason why I'm not kicking your ass right here, right now. Hogan, let's get one thing clear. I'm not Ken Anderson. I can't be bought. When I signed with Dixie Carter five years ago, I promised her I'd be the best wrestler on the roster, and I take pride in that. But if you want to go all the way back to Hulkamania, let's go back to Hulkamania. Yeah, I paid to see you just like everybody else. You know why? Because you were great. You were something different. You were something that no one's ever seen before. And now, 25 years later, the name Hulk Hogan brings on a whole new meaning. Because the fact that you can't go anymore. You know something, brother? You're crossing the line right now into some real dangerous territory. And if you're thinking that I'm gonna climb in this ring and wrestle again, well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm never gonna step in this ring and wrestle again. I had to make a choice after 30 years of being the greatest wrestler to ever step in this ring, eight back surgeries, knee replacements and hip replacements, I had to make a decision. My life or no life. And I chose quality of life, brother. But if you're gonna insult me, if you're gonna say something about my wife, Jennifer, or say something about my kids, I'm gonna prove to you, brother, that I'm no fluke. And maybe you gotta beat Sting because you just don't know. Maybe you've never beaten him the Kurt Angle way. And maybe the reason you're training for the Olympics is because you didn't pin the man. Maybe the judges like the golden boy from Pittsburgh with a broken neck and they just gave that to you. Maybe that's why you're training for the Olympics. Maybe that was just a fluke too. But if you want to call me out and you want to call me out man to man and you want to fight me you want to fight me over my pride? Well, we're getting real close to seeing that happen right now, my brother. Wow, Sting was right. I lit a fire under your ass, didn't I? You know what, Hogan, you're right. Just like in the Olympics, I want to go back to the Olympics. The older we get, the more the fire burns. There's no doubt in my mind you can still go but you need to prove that to yourself. Well, you know, Kurt, why don't you just spit it out? Why don't you just talk straight to me and quit beating around the bush? What are you trying to say, Kurt Angle? Well, let's see, Hogan. Um, you want to pay me a great deal of money to take out Sting. Why don't you take out Sting? Listen, Hogan. Every great warrior has one more fight left in them. So why don't you prove it to yourself and to everybody in this world, you can still do it. And don't call me again. Now that's strong. Hulk Hogan, don't call me again. Kurt Angle, he not only turns down the invitation to join Immortals, but then Kurt Angle tells Hulk Hogan, you want to eliminate Sting, Hulk Hogan? Take care of it yourself. I'm confused. I'm glad you're here. Follow what, me. No, no, uh, what, uh, uh, I, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you back. Sorry. 
suddenly I, I, I'm trying to get my composure, Eric. I, I've had this stuff. It's just, it's been bottled up inside me this whole show, and I, I can't hold it anymore. I'm, I'm about ready to explode. Shut up, shut up. I know that the truth sets free, and so I'm gonna fess up right now, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not the network exec. I, I'm not the network exec. The ultimate X match and the cage match. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Eric, I'm so sorry. It was all just right here in my head. It was just concocted in my head. I, I, I made it all up. I'm so sorry. You are nuttier than I thought. Oh. You are insane. Oh. But you know what boggles my mind? What boggles my mind is what happens when you wear a nice suit. Versace, it's Italian. $4,000. People listen to you. You get your way. You got stroke, and it feels good. But this is gonna feel good for you. <laughs> Remember the Hitchcock movie, The Birds? Yeah, they just peck, 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 peck away at you. Don't move, that's when they wanna get you. He'll go right for the eyeball. It's okay, you're gonna get along good with them because these birds have six cents. They can smell garbage from a mile away. Eric, you got a key, an outdoor lock. I'm gonna go watch a cage match. See ya, cha-cha. You stay, stick, 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 stick. The man was trying to stick it. Ten more. Good job, man. Sting's right. It's ten days from tonight. It's Sting. It's Kurt Angle. It's for Sting's World Heavyweight Title at Hardcore Justice. Now, gentlemen, you have both agreed to the conditions of this matchup to be contested in just three short days this Sunday at the Hardcore Justice Pay Per View. At this time, Mr. Angle, we will ask you to sign the contract first. Again, you have agreed to the conditions. Sting at this time, could you do the same, please? All right, gentlemen, it is official. This Sunday at Hardcore Justice, it will be Kurt Angle versus Sting for the heavyweight championship of the world. We will now give you both the opportunity for any final comments. Mr. Angle. Sting. There are very few men in this business that I respect, and you're one of them. They call you the icon, because that's who you are. You're one of the very best. Your demeanor, both inside and outside the ring, is a testament to who you are. You've never politicked or screwed anybody at any time. Now, if I end up half the man that you are, I know I did a good job. But at Hardcore Justice, I'm coming after you. It's strictly business, nothing personal. And at the end of that match, at the end of that war, it will end up in a handshake. But at Hardcore Justice, the man that's gonna walk away with the world title is Kurt Angle.
Suddenly, I don't feel like laughing too much. Wow. Kurt, thank you. Thank you for those words. You, you make me feel after 25 years of being in this business that I've actually accomplished something. That I actually had an effect on somebody as great as you. That's important to me. But I'd be a liar to stand here and not tell you that I'm just as big a fan of yours, Kurt. I am. It doesn't matter where I go, who I talk to, Kurt, whether I'm walking through an airport talking to a fan and they ask me, who is the greatest all-around wrestler you've ever faced? I say, beyond any shadow of a doubt, it is Kurt Angle. Why do I say all around? Because there isn't anything you can't do, Kurt. Of every wrestler that's ever walked into this ring, you're the greatest ever, the greatest technical wrestler. You've got the greatest ground assault. You've got great psychology, great timing. You've got the greatest stamina of anyone I've ever seen. You've even got, you've even got an aerial attack like I've never seen. Nobody does a moonsault off a 20-foot cage and lives to tell about it unless your name is Kurt Angle. And hey, the coup de gras of all something that none of us, no pro wrestler has ever been able to touch. You went and you got an Olympic gold medal. My hat is off to you, Kurt. My hat is off to you. But when it comes to this title, every single time that I ever won this title, Kurt, it meant a lot to me. It was always important to me, Kurt, but never as important as it is right now. This belt is my lifeblood. It is everything that I need right now to right the ultimate wrong. This company belongs to Dixie Carter. It does not belong to Hogan and Bischoff. I made a vow to Dixie, to all the wrestlers in the back. I made a vow to all these fans that before I hang my wrestling boots up for good. I'm gonna bring the company back to its rightful owner. So at Hardcore Justice, losing is not an option for me, Kurt. I can't lose. Now, I'm not gonna stand here and tell you that in order to beat me, you're gonna have to kill me, but I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna have to come real close, Kurt. At Hardcore Justice, I'm gonna walk out with my hand raised, and that's what's real. It's Sting, it's Kurt Angle, it's for Sting's World Heavyweight title at Hardcore Justice. And Angle takes the chair right out of Hogan's hands. Angle has said repeatedly, he does not want any interference. In what the hell? What was that? Kurt Angle just used the steel chair across the back of Sting. Slam, Angle covers, gets two, and gets three. And my God, Kurt Angle has won the title. No winner of the match. And new heavyweight champion of the world, Kurt Angle. I think everybody is shocked at what just happened here, including Hulk Hogan. Think of what we've just seen. For weeks, Kurt Angle has said, I want one thing and I want one thing only. I want a clean victory. I want no outside interference. I want to pin Sting and win that world title. Hogan introduces the chair. Angle uses it as a weapon. And Kurt Angle is the new world heavyweight champion. Kurt guaranteed victory and he did it. He crowned the new world heavyweight champion in Kurt Angle. Decisive. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Coming up. The entrance lift of Kurt Angle is the former world heavyweight champion. Yes, it's the icon Sting, and he's got the trademark baseball bat in hand. Oh. Sting swinging the bat. Oh. Takes the 
the steel chair right out of the hands of Kurt Angle. And Angle begging for what oh the Immortals hold Hogan. Watch out, Sting. Watch out. Go. Sting, you want to know who my informant is? Look, turn around. That's right, it's Hulk Hogan. Because he cares about me. He's invested in me. And you know what, Sting? You and Dixie, payback is gonna be a bitch. Can you believe it? Oh, man. Hulk Hogan's the informant. Angle aligned with the mortals, Hulk Hogan. Oh! What a wicked, violent shot with the chair to the back of Sting. He's not done, he's not done, Hogan. Mike. with the chair. Did you see that? Did you see the chair? It's bent it up. It's contorted. That chair is all bent it up. Look at this. Hogan's not done with him yet. The day stay oh. Hogan dropped with the big right hand. Beatdown continues. Rapid fire rights. Shot after shot to the head of Sting. Of Hogan. Well, Angle looks on approvingly. A big grin, a big smile on the face of Kurt Angle a moment ago. Uh, pretty strange for sure. That's proof I have lost my mind. What that was, was a reenactment over what happened to me last week. Wow, I'll tell you what. The only reason why I remember that much of it is because I had to watch it back on tape. Otherwise, everything's just a blur. I remember, I remember the force in which with I was being hit was so unbelievable, I still can't talk. Man, I'm telling you what, it was something. And I also remember I was the one who was, well, nervous. That was me. And I also remember the fire in his eye. I also remember how awesome it was to have my rear end handed to me by the greatest of all time, Hulk Hogan. It was awesome, make no mistake about it, the Hulkster still has the eye of the tiger. I'm telling you what, the 21 inch pythons kicked in totally 100% and we got something in common. You people and me, we want to see the Hulkster back in the ring, right? I'm dying 
to see it. I almost died last week. I want it so bad that I think it's appropriate now that we start the official Hogan chant because I want him in the ring tonight. Right now. Understand you to just call Hulk Hogan the greatest wrestler of all time? Whoa, whoa. Rather than answer that, we'll revisit that later on. Let's let's talk about you. You realize, do you realize when they put the tag on you icon, that makes you a special cat in this business? You are an icon. And you know what? I sometimes People bug me and they go, when are you going to wrestle Sting again? I go, and I don't know, I've got no desire to wrestle Sting. What have I got to prove? I wrestled him 1,500 times. You know what they say? They say, one more match. Whoa, I know what you're going to say. Let's do it. I know what you're going to say. Let's do it. Don't say it yet. Let me finish. You're going to say, let's do it. Let's do it. Don't say it yet. Do not. I want to finish my thought. Don't, don't say us. I know, don't say let's dance now. Don't be the stinger that I know. Let me finish. Because I'm filling you full of love. You are an iconic figure. You're the icon of this company. You're the icon of the business in my eyes. Okay? You're healthy. You're strong as a bull. You're just as much of a man as you were 20 years ago. And that's what matters. And for me to get where I want to go again, I got to wrestle you. I didn't say beat you. I said I got to wrestle you. And I want to wrestle you right here. Okay? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I'll be finished. But here's the deal. As much as I love you, I'm so tired of hearing your name sting, 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 wherever I go. Here's the deal. I beat you. You retire, not a phony retirement, you really go home. You really go home and live the rest of your life wishing you had never been in the ring this moment. You, if you, if you, if you lose, you're gone. If you beat me, which is next to impossible, because I am the nature of serve you Hogan on a silver platter as God is my witness and if God talking to God I'll serve him I can't believe this Ric Flair he's using Hulk Hogan to get a match with Sting oh I wonder what Hogan thinks of this yeah one answer now do the stinger give me the stinger answer give me the best of Sting no 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 don't be kicking my ass now just say yes or no Let me just ask these people. What do you think? You smell like garlic, Rick. But I want the match. I accept your offer. Sting wins, Flair promises. 
Texas. He's going to serve up Hogan on a silver platter. That's the definition of high stakes. The main problem that we have right now is we've got a problem. So Sting, get out here and face the music, brother. You're just way too much. You know, Sting, just plain and simple, enough, okay? Enough. This thing has gone way too far, brother, and it has to end tonight. I mean, come on. You gotta look in the mirror. I mean, look at yourself. You're a complete wreck. You're gone. You don't even have any fries left in your Happy Meal, brother. You're flying like a goose around the place. I mean, come on. The marbles, I can hear them rattling in your head. I mean, brother, take a good look at yourself. I mean, look, see yourself. You're not in your right mind. You're completely out of your mind. Your mind's over there somewhere. I don't know where, but you're gone. Don't you want all the little stingers to look up to you the way all those Hulkamaniacs look up to me? Don't you get it? This is a family show, Stinger. We can't have all this craziness going on, brother. You don't get it. You're laughing. You really don't get this. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Listen, okay. Maybe I'm partially to blame, okay? Maybe Eric and I have made a couple mistakes along the way, a couple judgments and error. But I promise you, brother, we're only human. We definitely have learned from our mistakes. And I just want to let you know to give you an extra layer of security, just a landing pad for you. I want you to know that Eric and I, from this point forward, are going to run this company with the most impeccable precision you've ever seen. We are going to be the standard bearer in this industry for what a wrestling company should be. So the way it goes right now, Stinger, this thing has gone way too far, and it's time to end the, the madness, brother. What do you say, Stinger? Under one condition. Anything. As long as we put a bullet in this thing tonight and you and I get on the exact same page. I've had enough. Anything. I will do anything. Anything at all. I will do anything at all. How about milk and cookies for all? Colorful balloons and rainbows and maybe even a unicorn hulkster. Hey, puppy dogs. Puppy dogs all around. Flowers, excuse me, flowers. I just love flowers, hulkster. Bouquets of flowers all over the place. 
Roses in all kinds of bouquets, and of course, red and yellow roses holster, your colors. Hug. Come on, Hulkster, let's hug it out, brother. Oh, he planted one right on Hulk's cheek. He's out of his mind, Sting. Oh my God, look at Flair. Flair can't help himself. You stupid son of a bitch! This ain't a game! This, no, this ain't a game! I'm Ric Flair, you get it? Leave me alone, damn it! You're out of control. You want crazy? I'll give you crazy. Brother, I was crazy when you were still sucking your mother's. <laughs> I'm so crazy, I'm gonna kick your ass so bad. I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Laugh, 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 laugh. Laugh, I, I'm, laugh. I'm, I'm loving, yeah. I'm loving it, Rick. No, I want, I want you to hear this. Okay, I'm, I'm so much crazier than you, and I have the edge. You know why? Because when it comes time to kill, you respect me too much to hurt me. I heard what you said about me for months out here. You respect me too much to go for the kill. And when it comes time to go for the kill, you'll ease up on me, and I'll kick your ass. Respond to that one time, jackass. Oh, somebody cussed at me again. What am I going to do? Take it serious. Finally, somebody I can relate to a little bit. Somebody as whacked out as I am, Rick. I'm so glad that you're back. And Rick, if you're telling me that I got to go through you to get to him, then listen to these words. I'm going to go through you. <laughs> and I'm nuts too. <laughs> and if you point that finger at me again, bro, I'm going to bite it off. So I'm going to start with you. It's bad enough that you stole the company from Dixie. Bad enough that you've had your thumb on all those wrestlers in the back. You got Kurt Angle all tainted now. So I'm going to start with you. And hey, I'm looking at my calendar and I'm thinking right now, bound for glory, how about you and I blow it up that night? Oh, man. You and me. Don't get ahead of yourself, asshole. No, 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 no. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Ta-ta for now. Oh, you got to love it. This thing fell apart right in front of Hogan. This is not what Hogan wanted. You can see that. Sting insists a deal is a deal. He agreed to it last week. The insane icon. He wants the dirtiest player in the game. He wants the nature boy, Ric Flair, first. Ric Flair. The only normal one out there is Hulk Hogan. He was trying to keep everything calm and cool, make a match with Sting. And it just exploded. And then Sting says, after he gets done with Flair, he wants Hogan on that silver platter at Bound for Glory. He's going to go Scorpion Deathlock. Going to take that long step over. There it is. Submission hold applied. Look at Hogan. Hogan. Look at Hogan doing here. Special enforcer at ringside. Hulk Hogan motioning to the back. Angle on the verge of tapping. He's got his hand in the air. Who is it? It's Gunner. Immortal's Gunner. Steel chair. Brian Hepner takes the chair right out of his hand. Oh. Still hanging on to that hold. Oh my God, the pain that Kurt's got to be in. Now Hulk's in the ring. Kurt's tapping out. Kurt's tapping. We should have a new champion. Sting should be the world champ. Oh. Right in the chest. Hogan with the chair. And Sting gets right back in his face. Watch Angle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the angle slam. Sting crashing down, back first onto the steel chair. When referee Brian Hebner turns around, he counts two, he counts three. Hogan on the mat.
and still heavyweight champion of the world, Kurt Angle. Hey man, that, that angle slam on that steel chair, Sting's body really landed hard, Mike, on that steel chair. There was no way in hell he was kicking out of that. But how about the scorpion deathlock that was applied by Sting? He had Angle exactly where he wanted, to the point where Kurt Angle, the world heavyweight champion, he had tapped out. We should have a new world champion in the icon Sting. Well, wait, look at this now, Sting. Angle taken out to the floor. Sting turns his attention to the immortal boss, eye to eye with Hulk Hogan. Remember Sting earlier tonight said the grand prize would be when he finally gets Hogan. Oh, but, oh! oh, here come the troops, here comes the immortal gang, and now the beatdown led by Bully Ray. Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner. Jeff Jarrett gonna join in as well. Monster Abyss in the ring. He's just taking turns, just smashing. Mr. Anderson! Anderson, yeah! Mr. Anderson wielding the trademark baseball bat of Sting. Eye to eye, Anderson with Bully Ray. And look at Bully Ray Bale. Kurt Angle remains world heavyweight champion. But how about Mr. Anderson sticking up for Sting? just knocked out Sting. Sting's career is in jeopardy right here. Sting is down, not moving, it's done. Flair drops down, Flair covers, here's two. Sting's gone. Could be it. Ooh. How the hell did Sting kick out? go back to the top, but Sting! Oh, it looks like Flair might be going to his trunks, going to the well again. Flair into the corner, here he comes! Stinger splash! Oh, he caught him perfectly in the corner! And with Flair down, Sting's walking in. Yeah. Sting picks up the brass knucks, but he's not going to use them. He's going to go for the scorpion instead. Step over, scorpion death lock applied. Submission hold applied. There it is, is Flair going to tap? He taps, he taps. Sting finally gets Hogan. The winner of the match, the icon, Sting. You can look right in the eyes of Hulk Hogan. He is not happy about this. That Sting saved himself, not forced to retire. Sting finally accomplishes his goal. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, get ready because it's going to be Sting versus Hulk Hogan at Bound for Glory. Times are good. Times are great, man. I mean it. And this is a great night. I'm so pumped up because you saw what happened last week. I took it to Ric Flair. I beat Ric Flair. And when I beat Ric Flair, that opened the gate wide open for me to beeline right to Hogan at Bound for Glory. <laughs> Something that everybody said was impossible, everybody said would not happen, but it is gonna happen, I promise you. So I think now it's fitting that we get the Hulkster out here now. Let's do it right. Let's get a good Hogan chance going. Hogan, Hogan, Hogan!
days of Hulk Hogan refusing to get in the ring with Sting. Well, they've come to an end once and for all. And when we present our biggest pay-per-view event of the year at Bound for Glory, Hulk Hogan, you're now committed to competing against the insane icon Sting. Why are you making it like Hogan is afraid of Sting? What is the deal with you, Mike? You've been watching this show for the past few years? Yeah, yeah, I've been involved with it pretty heavily. Yes, I have. And you have to ask me that question? Well, I'm just saying, he is Hulk Hogan. The household name is a legend. He's a Hall of Fame. Ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny, Sting. You know, the dog and pony show, the smoke and mirrors, the dancing in the rain. Brother, you're delusional. This is not going to happen. And oh, by the way, I'm not medically cleared, Sting. Oh, oh, you got to be kidding me. Are you kidding me? cleared okay let's just dissect this and go a little bit deeper with it i got some footage i'm confused but let's just see firsthand bird's eye view roll the footage somebody You don't have the right to do that. I run the show around here. I did not clear that footage thing. This is not funny. I don't think it's really funny either, but you know, it, you, it, it, it happened. The footage rolled. There's nothing you can do about it now. It is what it is, but that is proof right there, Hulk, that you still have it. I can see the vascularity and the biceps all coming out again, and I took it, the haymaker that you threw me. I didn't know which way was up and which way was down. You still got it, Hulk. You and me at Bound for Glory. You know what? Forget no, wait a minute. No. It's time to knock it off, Sting. It's time to end the game. I got nothing to prove, brother. You've been chasing me your whole career, and you never quite caught up to Hulkamania. So I'm not going to give you a bonus package. I run this company. I'm a businessman. You need to realize that paper that you've got, that isn't going to hold up with me, brother. This is not going to happen. You're a businessman, then let's do business right now. Let's forget about Bound for Glory and just do it right now, right here. Come on, Hulk. No, come on. These are not just words. Come on. Let's do it now. Hulk. Come on, Hulk. Now. to the man that is responsible for the fact that this industry even exists. Who in the hell do you think you are? Don't turn your talk. Look me in the eye. I'm talking to you, damn it. I am talking to you. Did you say something? Oh, man. What a shot to fish on. Did you catch that one right there? That was good. You still got it, Hulkamania. No matter what, it's gonna happen. There will be a match. You and me at Bound for Glory. Nothing's gonna stop it. Believe me. Ta-ta for now. Well, I gotta tell you guys, I feel like there's been a million pounds lifted off my shoulders. I did a lot of soul searching, you know, the last couple months. And as I was soul searching, I realized that everything in life is about a run. How long is it gonna last? How much fun are you having? How good was it really? And as I was doing soul searching, I realized that Hulk Hogan 
the Hulk Hogan run and all the Hulk Hogan Hulkamaniacs has been the best run of all times. You know, guys, when I started thinking about things, you know, we go back way over three decades. Myself, the guys around the locker room, all the fans that have stuck with me through thick and thin. And I started thinking about the very first day when I got in this business. Hiro Matsuda broke my leg the first time I got in this ring, and he taught me respect. He taught me what it meant to step up and be a man in this ring. And then as things started moving forward, I wrestled the little high schools. I went on the road trips with all the guys. I got lucky. I got the big break. I had the chance to wrestle Andre the Giant in front of 94,000 people. And the more I started thinking about how good things were, I couldn't help but think about how many times Madison Square Garden had been sold out. I couldn't quit thinking about Mr. T, Cindy Lauper, Roddy Piper, the war to settle the score. That's how long it's been. But at the end of the day, this thing with Hulkamania could go on forever. So then I had the chance of a lifetime. After all the indoor attendance records, all the records at the Sky Dome in Canada, having the records at the Egg Dome in Japan, every single guy that helped me get to where I am today, every single fan that's been with me over 30 years, I had the chance of a lifetime to come to Impact Wrestling. I had a chance to come here with over three decades of knowledge, step into this company and make a difference. And when I came here, all I saw were eyes and all the eyes were hungry. And right now, I've been here almost two years. And when I see guys like Rude stepping up, when I see Storm stepping up, when I see Kazarian, Daniels, AJ Styles, RVD, Jeff Hardy finally back on track, when I see everything going on here, I realize that every moment I spent here was worth it. What you guys don't see is what goes on backstage. I taught him everything I knew about getting by in this ring, not getting hurt. I taught him things that I wouldn't even tell my best friends on how to survive in this business. I gave these guys my soul, my life, and my blood, everything I knew about this business. A lot of them took the information, a lot of them didn't need all of it, but I felt I gave everything I could to help impact wrestling. <laughs> Am I the only one that sees this? Am I the You know, the first time I saw him in Suburban Commando, I knew he was a phenomenal actor. Look at him, he's the best. Academy Award, I'd give it to him right now. Hulk, you get an Oscar for this one. That's good, real good. When I say I feel like I had a million pounds lifted off my shoulders, that's because I finally made a decision. I made a decision that enough is enough. This for me is the end of the road, guys. But when I sat down and made a decision to say this, I wanted to tell the people that loved me and were loyal and supported me the most. That's why I wanted to tell you fans first. I haven't even told my wife Jennifer yet. You guys are the first ones to hear this. Because at the end of the day, when everything went down and I bottomed out, when I lost my family, when financially I bottomed out, when I lost my health and I had eight back surgeries in a row, the only thing that I didn't lose were the fans, you know? The only thing that ever has been with me since day one and never turned their back on me has been you guys, the fans. No matter how bad it got, no matter how far down I went, all I knew was when I walked out the door of the house, you guys were there and then after I lost everything, I would come to work and those guys in the back were there for me. That's the part that you guys don't know. So I made the decision. It's the end of the run. My time is done here. There's nothing more for me to do. The Roods, the Storms, the Kazarians, AJ Styles, these guys are up and running. They're your stars of the future. 
Is he crying? So I just want to <laughs> let you guys know first that next week in Knoxville at the Civic Coliseum, I'm inviting all the fans. I'm inviting my friends. I'm inviting people that have been a part of my life to help me get to where I am today. And next week in Knoxville, I want everyone to be there because we're going to have a celebration because Hulk Hogan is going to make a formal announcement next week in Knoxville, and that will be the last time you ever see me in this ring. Thank you, guys. I love you with all my heart. Okay. He's talking about friends, talking about friends, talking about, well, all of his acquaintances over the years. I'm one of his good friends, and believe me, I'm gonna be in Knoxville, front row. I'll be right in the middle of the ring. I'm gonna celebrate with the holster. It's showtime. You know, I knew that would happen in Knoxville, without a doubt, brothers. You know, as I was saying, when my feet hit the ground this morning, and I woke up, the very first thing I realized that today was the final day I would be in the wrestling business. You know, after the 30 plus year run that I've had, that was a tough cup of coffee for me to swallow first thing in the morning. But you know what, guys? I put on my game face, I came to Knoxville, and from the moment I walked through the airport, everybody in Knoxville welcomed me with open arms. I mean, the love. to say is you guys made me feel so much love today. I felt like it was my first day back in this business in Knoxville. Thank you very much for that. You know, it's, it's just been so crazy trying to explain to my family that guess what? I'm back home. I'm going to be hanging out a lot. You know, I kind of started thinking today, what am I going to do with myself? You know, it's kind of like I've been on the road for so many years, I just really didn't think about when I formally retired, what was I gonna do, start golfing or go out fishing? I mean, I gotta find something that's gonna replace the love that I feel in each and every one of these buildings, I'm telling you. You know, it got so crazy today as I was going through Twitter and looking at Facebook, I had some fans on the Twitter going, Hogan, if this is really your last night, we have a 10 hour drive. We want to know if you're really retiring. And I had to answer each and every person back that yes, this is the end of the line. This has been the greatest career I could have ever dreamed of. And because of all the fans, everybody at home and in all these arenas, thank you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. At the end of the day, there have been generations and generations. Thank you, 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 Thank you,
know, guys, this could go on for another 30 years, but at the end of the day, Hulkamania had the longest run of anybody in this business, and now it's time to put Hulkamania to rest. And there's only one thing left, guys. We might as well let the celebration begin, guys. celebration begin but sting coming to the ring i gotta ask you Cass, is this a tribute to hulk hogan from sting even the insane icon has busted out the red and yellow tonight you never know what sting's thinking who knows i can't answer that nobody knows what sting's thinking but this was and is hulk's moment you are not welcomed out here and you're not going to turn this into a damn clown show Hulk, that, listen, listen. I, I, I really am, am so sorry to come out here and, and, and bring a little bit of rain to this lovely and momentous evening, but I just gotta ask this question. Is there anybody in Knoxville or anywhere else in the whole wide world that's buying this stuff about retirement? You know, you need to understand one thing, nothing last forever in this business and you need to know when it's time to leave me alone i'm officially done i've said my goodbyes i'm retired my brother i i i suppose no 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 hold on i i i suppose there's a good chance that I've just become so jaded because of this business, so hardened and calloused that I just can't let you have your just due. I, I'm, I'm sorry about that, Hulk. Well, fine. But, but you th know then what? again, maybe, maybe it's that I know you better than anyone on the face of this earth, Hogan. Yes, maybe it's true, Hogan. Yes, that's right. You know something? It's also really amazing about all the cameras that are on every corner in every building, on every street, everywhere, including this building right here. It's amazing there is nothing, Hulk, that's sacred in this business any longer. No. I've got some compelling footage on you. Yes, you're caught on You know tape. what? Whoa, 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 hold on. You know what, brother? The games are officially over. If you would now leave, I've got one last thing I have to say. And this party's over, brother. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave after we play the footage, and I promise you it's going to be ugly, Hulkster. Please play it now. Do you really think they bought the fact that I'm retiring tonight, Eric? I mean, please, I'm so worried. Oh, let me think about it. Oh, oh. and sinker. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Well, you know, I've heard a lot of feedback. But some people uh, are saying, are you sure you're really doing this? The Twitter's been blowing up saying, Hogan, we're driving eight hours if this is your last night. Look, we fooled everybody. I mean, I get the head of the network calling me no up going, way. why didn't you tell us in advance? How could you do this to us? I mean, everybody. And these hillbillies here in Max Maxville, I mean, they're mortgaging their trailer home so they can go out and buy Hulk Hogan memorabilia oh merchandise. This is great. I was worried about tonight walking the walk again, but... We're in Knoxville, Tennessee. We have no dental floss. The women don't even have teeth here. And hey, dude, what a plan. Oh, man. man. You retire for a month, you go to Hawaii, catch a little bit of suntan, take the wife out to the beach, throw a few coconuts around. Maybe somebody will buy you one of those. That's enough. For your That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. That's you cut that damn footage. footage. Turn that off. You know something? You've crossed the line, Sting. You have crossed the line. You've broken every damn law. You've ruined everything in this wrestling business. I am so sick of you. I can't stand you. You want to wrestle? Hell no, I'll never wrestle you. But you pushed me so far. You want to fight? I'll fight you, Stinger. I'll fight you at Bound for Glory. And if you can beat me, I'll give the company back to you.
and Dixie Carter. Got what I wanted, Tata, for now. You know, Mr. Borash, I do have something to say. I've been watching you dance around Hulk Hogan for over 30 years, Sting. We had a brief encounter, but you were really happy when that moment was over with, brother. So here we are again. I've watched your song and dance. I wrestled all over the world, brother. You could have chased me. You could have found me because I'm not hard to find, brother. But for you to come here to TNA in the twilight of my career, when I was here to help this company, when I was here to make things right, when I was here with Eric Bischoff to get this company back on track, something that you and all your little TNA originals couldn't get done, the kind of man that you are, Sting, you dug down as low as you could go. You went ahead, danced around my career, hid from the monster Hulk Hogan, and finally, in the 11th hour, when I was at peace with my career, you dropped your down card with the big, scary man face on it. So I'm here to tell you, if you don't understand, you wanted Hulk Hogan, you got the real damn Hulk Hogan now. That's all you ever wanted, huh? That's all you ever wanted. Well, I'm here to tell you, be careful what you wish for. One more time for the record book. My wrestling career is over. But for you to insult me in front of all these people that love me, for you to embarrass me, for you to embarrass me the way you have in front of all these people that support me and are loyal to me, I want to let you know this is going to be the fight of your life, my brother. And there's going to be no games played there's going to be no interference. There's going to be no pieces of the puzzle that you can't figure out, Sting. It's going to be you and me, man on man. One of us walks out of this ring, and one of us doesn't. You got my word on it, man on man, brother. Yeah, okay. Man on man. You and me, nobody else. I hope you're ready. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's one little piece of business. Sting, you laid your hands on me two weeks ago. And if there's anything left over when Hulk Hogan gets done with you, I'm gonna kick your ass. Ooh, oh! Distraction by Bischoff <laughs> enables Hogan to come up from behind oh, with the steel chair on Sting. Awesome. <laughs> well, it's just three days early right here. Sting wanted the real Hulk Hogan. Well, the real Hulk Hogan is pounding on Sting. You got everything you wanted, brother. I hope you're ready. Bischoff looks on approvingly from the ramp as Hogan continues to assault Sting. You've got to join us this Sunday. Sting fights Hogan and Bound for Glory in Philadelphia. Splash! 
Look who's left. Bischoff cowering in the corner. Hogan said to Sting. I got this one. Cannot believe my eyes. Dixie Carter can't believe her eyes. I think, I think if I, re I read Hogan's lips, you just said I'm back. The real Hulk Hogan is back. Yeah. 